All right, you guys, it is now Monday, October 13th. If you look at your week's assignments on Friday, you were supposed to have taken chapter 7-1 notes, done the practice problems from 7-1, and taken the lesson quiz from 7-1. So that was Friday's assignment. So if you did not work Friday, you are one day behind. So make sure on your schedule you put working on Fridays. Today's assignment is 7-2 multiplying powers with the same base and 7-3 <coughs> multiplication properties of exponents. So today we're going to take notes on 7-1, 7-2, and 7-3 together. So you will have the notes done for three of the sections and you'll be all caught up on the notes for today. Okay, so this is 7-1. So on your paper, write 7-1, just like I have. Let's get the title so that you don't get docked points. Zero and negative exponents. So let's look at um, some patterns here because math is all about patterns and if we don't follow the pattern then we are not doing math correctly. So if we have 2 to the x, so write down 2 to the x on your paper. Um, so go ahead and write this on your paper. We got the power of the x values is 4, 3, 2, 1, 0, negative 1, and we'll do one more, negative 2. Let me, I'll pause while you guys write that down. We are going to raise 2 to the 4th power, which means it's going to be 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. Remember, not 2 times 4, but 2 to the 4. So 2 times 2 is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. 8 times 2 is 16. Starting. We do the same thing to the 3rd power. 2 times 2 times 2 is 8, 2 squared, sorry, my lawns are getting wonky, you'll have to forgive me, is 2 times 2, 4, 16, 8, 4, what is 2 to the 1 power? is 2. If I follow the pattern, what am, how do I get from 16 to 8? How do I get from 8 to 4? Using the same pattern. So it goes 16, 8, 4, 2. What's the pattern? Am I adding, subtracting, multiplying, or dividing? Dividing by one half. So I'm, I'm dividing by two. I'm cutting everything in half each time. So what would the next one be? Two to the zero if I divide by two. So 
So what's 2 divided by 2? So then if I follow that same pattern, what is 1 divided by 2? What is one half divided by two? So when my exponent is negative, and let me rewrite my number so that it matches up. So when I go, because I have a negative exponent, that does not mean I have a negative number. One half and one fourth is not negative. Negative exponent means I have a fraction, yeah, means I have a fraction. So let's see how that plays out with a different base. So let's, let's roll out 10. So 10 to the fourth is 10 times 10 times 10 times 10. Goodness gracious. The trick with tens is I put whatever my front number is, in this case it's one, and then I add however many zeros we have. So one, two, three, four. Ten to the fourth is 10,000. Ten times ten times ten is 1,000. What do you guys think 10 to the squared would be? 10 squared. 100. 10 to the 1. Please, 10. What do you guys think 10 to the 0 is? Each time I'm dividing by 10. So 10,000 divided by 10 is 1,000. 1,000 divided by 10 is 100. 100 divided by 10 is 10. And 10 divided by 10 is 1. So what about 10 to the negative 1? If we follow the same pattern as the 2's and continue to divide by 10, what should 10 to the negative 1 be? One ten. Perfect. And then ten to the negative two is one over two. Uh -huh. Alright, so this is as hard as it gets. Anything to the zero power is one, and a negative exponent just makes a fraction. The positive exponent in the denominator. The only exception with that is when we got the wonky base zero. So we exclude all bases equal to zero, and guess what? You will not deal with that until calculus, so let's just not worry about the base zero thing for now. Got it? When, we, when you guys get to calculus, we'll talk more about base zero. All right. We cannot have zero as a base. It will result in crazy land. But go ahead and write these example problems down. 9 to the negative 2. Negative exponents make a positive denominator. So 1 over 9 squared is equal to 1 over 81. And the second example is 
Negative 3.6 to the 0 power is everybody together on the count of 3. 1, 2, 3, 1, 1. Because anything to the 0 power is 1. Not asking the moon. Just basic. Basic. You guys got this. Okay, I'm going to give you guys some more examples. Go ahead and write down A, B, C, D, e, and E. You guys have seen the answers, but I'm going to hide them real quick. Let's hide them at a rectangle. Wow, that rectangle's huge, man. Well, that did not work out the way I wanted it to. Anywho. So, if you have variables, check out this. If I have x to the negative 9, that becomes 1 over x to the 9. So, you see how we changed from numbers, now we have variables, where we have letters in place of the numbers. Check out b real quick. You see how when I start with a negative in the denominator, because of this scenario up here, it's the same as having 1 divided by a fraction. And those of you guys who remember fifth grade fraction math, when you divide by a fraction, it's the same as multiplying by its reciprocal. So if you have a negative in the denominator, it pulls it up and makes it positive in the numerator. So let's, I'm going to write that down. I'm spelling. I guess we can make this smaller. Um, so if we look at C together, uh, 4, C to the negative 3, and B. 4 and B get to stay in the numerator. C to the negative 3 bumps down and becomes the denominator positive exponent. When you're asked to simplify, we want to make sure we have no positive exponents. So simplification means all of our exponents. We want to make sure we have no negative exponents. When it's asked to simplify, all at the end of the day, all of our exponents should be positive. So you look at d, 2 over a to the negative 3. The 2, since it's positive in, it has a positive exponent in the numerator, stays positive in the numerator. And the a to the negative 3 comes up, and the exponent becomes positive. And then e, that n to the negative 5 goes down. When you do the movement and you're, not, you're left with nothing in the numerator, you just put a 1 there. You guys are going to see problems where they're going to ask you for the value, and in fact, this is just like a quiz question that you will experience today. Uh, what is the value, the example problem says, what is the value of 3s to the third, t to the negative 2 for s equal to 2, and t equal to negative 3? So the first thing you want to do is simplify. Pull down the negative exponents into the de denominator, or if they're already in the denominator, pull them up to the numerator. Make them positive. <clears throat> then you substitute. So s was 2, t was negative 3, and then you do the math. 2 to the 3 is 8. 8 times 3 is 24. Negative 3 to the 2 power, negative 3 times negative 3 is 
nine, and then you make that into a mixed fraction, which is two and two thirds. Second method, I'm not a big fan of this method because it's, you have more numbers running around and it could get kind of confusing, but you can definitely use it. You can substitute first, where you put in the two and the negative three, and then you move the negative exponents to the denominator. Either way, you get the same answer. Okay, so let's practice this. Number three, what is the value of each expression for n equal to negative two and w equal to five? So n is equal to negative four, w is equal to zero. Anything to the zero power is one. So this is really n to the negative four. So it's the same as five. Let me put parentheses around this because it's actually negative two in parentheses to the fourth power, which is the same as one over 16. All right, and then B looks like this. We got N to the negative one and W squared. W is five and if we drop that down, this is actually just 2 to the 1, positive. So 5 squared five squared is 25, and 2 to the 1 is 2. 25 times 2 is positive 1 over 50. So, yay, I got n to the 0 here. Anything to the 0 power is 1. 1 over 5 to the 6 is 1 over 15,625. <clears throat> In the last scenario, we got 1 over negative 2 times 5 to the negative 1. 5 to the negative 1 comes up to the numerator. And becomes 5 to the 1, and it becomes negative 5 to the 1 over, sorry, 5 to the 1 over negative 2. And when one of them is negative, it's the same as putting the negative right up front. 